This is Charles Brown. I'm going to show you how to achieve this effect inside Photoshop. So here are the examples that we have. This, this one is the original photograph and this is the result. And here, this is before and here is after. And here, before and then after and this one here before and after this one here and after and this one here so basically what you do in this action is so uh, just a brush on your model or your subject area and then also brush again for the flow of the, of the milk so that's what this action is about and then you have this bunch of uh, of layers okay so um, I'm going to include the links for these two images we're going to use for this tutorial I'm going to use this one I'm going to use also this one okay so um, this tutorial is for the extended version so I'm going to tell you about it at the end of this video alright so um, you can download the images this one here and that okay and then open your Photoshop and load the action file the brush and the pattern so when you go to the extended version, you're going to find these three folders. You have the action, you have the brush, and you have the pattern. So inside the action, you have this, the one for the CC, optimized for CC, and the one for CS4, CS5, and CS6. So for this tutorial, I'm going to be using the one for CC. All you have to do is just double click the action, and you can go to Window, Actions, and you will find you find it here okay and you have uh, all these sub actions for easy modification okay if you're familiar with my actions I normally add them to make things very easier for you and also for me when I'm using um, this plugin okay and do the same for the brush and also for the pattern so once you have loaded these um, add-ons the next thing you have to do is open your image inside Photoshop. Okay. So I recommend using high quality photos. Um, you have to use something, let's say, from 2500 to 3500 pixels. So this very image here, okay, it's, it's kind of small, all right, for what I need it for. So what I have to do is to increase the size. I can just type in 3500 here to increase the size. Another thing is if your image is dark, okay, you have all these deep shadows here, all right, you can actually fix it. So what you have to do is just um, make sure your layer is selected, okay, and you go to image adjustments then go to shadow and highlights and you can just increase it the way you want it to be okay once you're done just click OK and your image is ready to go um, you don't need to worry about the uh, the color mode if your image is CMYK you don't need to worry about that actually this action is going to take care of that and will also uh, change um, change the uh, the beat pay channel so what I like if your image is 16 don't worry about it this action is going to automatically fix all that for you okay and now that you are done it doesn't matter if uh, your layer is named background or not it doesn't matter okay this action is um, you know is going to override that so all you have to do is make sure that the layer you're going to use for this effect is the one that is active so if you have multiple layers on top that you don't need 
just uh, make sure that they are hidden okay and then the one that you need is out there and is one that is visible all right and then go to the main effect hold on it and then click play so this action is going to run about one minute to five minutes all right depending on the speed of your computer and the size of the image you're going to use okay so um, select the main effect you know and then click play okay you will now uh, um, see this uh, this box here with an instruction so what you have to do is to paint on the model paint okay on the uh, on the entire model all right just avoid the background and paint on the model okay so which what I'm going to do is I'm going to use marquee tool. you can use anything you want to all right so you can use the marquee tool here and I would just use the quick selection tool or you can use the mar the marquee or the quick selection or lasso so um just select the uh the base image and start to draw around it okay and just draw around it So uh, if uh, the color of your background is actually the same, you can just use the uh, the magic wand to just click on that background to select uh, to mark it. Okay, so uh, let's get this one here. All right, and then you can always hold down the Alt or Option key. Um, to subtract the area that you don't need okay so we have this one here now another thing you can just do is you can go to uh, go to select and you select and mask so uh, you can soften the edge as you see fit okay I think I missed something here. All right. You can do that, or you can just uh, feather it. See by by two percent by two uh, pixels, and and then click on the uh, the model layer, and then fill it. All right. Can just fill it with any color that you want to. So another way to select is, uh, like I said, you can use the magic wand, and then uh, make sure that the layer is selected and and select. Uh, so to uh, to to select multiple areas, just hold down shift and select. Okay. That's what you have to do, and remember to inverse it. Okay, your image is ready now. And can go to here, and if I want to smoothen out the edge, I can do that from here. All right. So, and then fill it up. Okay. So you can do the filling by just uh, um, click on the layer and control backspace. Then you can fill it. Um, if you want to uh, fill it with the the background layer, or you can hold down Alt and backspace to fill it with the foreground layer. Okay. So uh, we've done that then click play again to proceed 
and this time around you're going to brush on the area where you want the milk to flow so this time you don't need to be precise okay you can you can brush it as you like okay and up here all right okay you're now good to go and uh, click play all right so uh, I'm going to uh, speed up the rendering process and I will get back to you when action is done don't go away All right, action has now finished rendering, and this is the result. Okay, and we have it here. This is the result here. Okay, this is the original photograph, and here is the result and just open the uh, comprising elements to see uh, all the things inside all the layers okay and to collapse everything just uh, make sure that this layer is selected the comprising elements and hold down alt key or option key mark and click on it and they can now open it and everything is collapsed and inside the comprising elements you have all these layers layer inside layer inside layer okay there's so many of them and i don't need to uh trouble you about them how how it works okay um that's what these sub actions are going to do for you they're going to take care of all the technicalities and other things all right it's going to help you to modify them however i'm going to tell you about the color coded layers all right all these layers here so this one are the ones that we use the brushes that we used to render um this artwork okay and uh, if you want to rerun this action again all you have to do is select this layer close it make sure that the uh the base image is, is, uh, is visible then just close the other ones and then play the action again for instance you just play it now and um, then go back to the previous document select the layer model hold down control command click on it to mark it to select it the content and press control C or command C to copy and command D to deselect then go back to the new document and hold down control shift V to paste in place or you can go to edit and then paste special all right and paste in place all right okay so click play to proceed again and then click stop go back to the document select the first one the flow do the same thing copy it all right hold down the control or control c to copy and also control d to deselect all right go back to the new document and paste in place again and click play and then action is going to render all right so that's what you can do if you want to play it again now let's get back to um, this one that we have finished rendering okay that's what these two um, layers here they are so uh, 
and when you go to this one the model image um, what it does it, it reviews what is underneath the original photograph so that's what it does here it reviews it okay it's here now and this one here the chrome conversion tool so what it does is it uh, it applies chrome chrome effect on the image below on the model image uh, if you've checked out the preview that I made you can see that I use uh, some chromatic effect on the model's face or the leg so uh, that's how I did it okay you can just uh, toggle on make visible or invisible these two layers on yellow okay to see uh, which one best fits your image so that's what this this one does the chrome conversion so if you want it chromatic just uh, make it visible all right and if you want to reveal your model just uh, make this layer visible here and the next one is uh, edge strokes as you can see we have uh, this stroke um, splattered outside of the area that we that we uh, brushed on so that's what this one does edge stroke to uh, um, to add that splatter or splash effect uh, on this artwork that's what it does and you have the milk drop set one and set two in blue okay so if you hide those layers you can see uh, it's gone all those uh, drops and drip all right you can put it back on and inside each of the uh, folder um, you're going to find um, the individual milk drop layers which you can toggle on and off you can just see what is inside and uh, you can hide the one that you don't need okay and you can also uh, and check out the uh, the ones here in set 2 okay we have uh, there was one flowing down here we have another one okay. we have this one here we have this one and then we also have uh, um, this uh, blood out one okay so you can hold on you can move it around and place it on the area that you like Okay, you can also uh, remove the uh, the layer mask. You can remove that. You can apply a new one. You can cover the areas um, that you don't want to see visible. Okay, you can move it around and position how you see fit. Okay, so that's what that layer does here and then you also have more of the drops okay and this one here in green the texture blend so what it does it it's it makes it kind of uh, functions as a map okay like well um, let's call it a um, displacement map so what it does it it blends the the, uh, the milk it blends it with the skin uh, or let's say with the environment of your subject okay with the texture it blends it all together so that's what it does so if you want it uh, to become lighter or something you can just lower down the opacity and and you can make it lighter all right and so this one here toned down so if you want to to lower to kind of tone down the brightness of the uh, of the artwork just to make that layer um, visible all right so uh, and this one here model 2 so it is the same the original photograph is on top 
so just in case that you want to uh, okay for instance you want to achieve uh, a chromatic effect you can select the brush and brush on that and then you want to apply something on top you can select brush and so apply uh, like the original one on top or something you can do that with the uh, with this layer here on top okay so um, let's see what is inside here for the sub action so uh, this sub action here is going to help you a lot um, to be able to modify any of the features inside this artwork you have the chromatic so uh, if you want it like in some images that are very dark so we recommend using this chromatic um, EV plus 5 plus 4 and so on so for this image it's already very bright so I can just uh, tone it down alright then we have the texture here so from level 1 you can tone it very much down and you can see uh, more of the uh, the texture of the original image of your model uh, and you can keep going up going high from here okay so you can keep uh, going, going higher and higher now you don't need to start um, um, worrying about all the folders and what which one does so these sub actions we uh, do that just for you and you have the surface smoothness so if you want it very much smoother you can use these elements the sub action elements here okay and then the next one we have the mid tones you can also um, tone it down the mid tones and shadows you can increase the shadows you know and you can also you know keep brightening the mid tones you can go higher or you can actually uh, increase the shadows okay so and go much darker and then we have the skin overlay um, what it does is it, uh, it makes visible um, the splash of the milk on the skin so if you're using a different kind of photograph let's say um, the, uh, the image is not very bright um, you're going to uh, find this very useful the skin overlay very useful and you have the filter color whereby you can colorize um, kind of um, add a add kind of photo photo filter on the overall image you can choose uh, the colors that you like here you can go through them see the one you like and you can do the same so you have two colors which you can blend together and I did that in the preview alright so that's basically what all this does here okay you can also hide the filter color alright so that's what it does here and your image is ready to go okay you keep your um, you reveal the the model here so so that uh, um, it will be it will be visible and everything else uh, becomes very milky all right and you can always go through the uh, the sub actions to see what works best for you and if you zoom in here you can see how photorealistic it is alright and one more thing I have to show you is the splash so we have four splash elements here 
okay and I'm going to just uh, hide this drop so that you can see it so we have splash one which is the one that you're seeing now and you can check out the two you can check out the three you can check out the four all right so um, it's very useful to check them out depending on the image you're using so you can be able to see the one that is best or more suitable for your photograph okay for this one I'm going to stick with the splash one okay and enable my drops again okay so this is the original image again and it's the final result okay we will now use another photograph uh, for this tutorial um, let's use this one okay right here and if we check the size it is 5000 plus pixels okay so we're going to use this one and the size uh, if you recall we change the size of this to 3500 so this one is 5000 which is okay for this tutorial so it's always good to uh, use high quality photos so that you can get a very good result so your image is here and you go ahead and play the action and you can also as we did before paint on your subject area and I'm going to uh, going to use uh, this one here okay always make sure if you want to use this tool alright and make sure that you select the image layer before you start making the selection otherwise if it's just here the, the layer is empty so you wouldn't be able to uh, select anything okay uh, let's go back and get this done you have to be very patient uh, because uh, the color of the of the horse is the same with the background So that means it will be a little bit challenging to make the selection. And always remember if you want to subtract, just hold down your Alt or Option and make the selection, okay? That's how you actually get it done. And let's leave that. Just like this one. So I'm going to provide the links to these images so that you can test them out. Okay. It's all good. And here. We have some strange thing going on here. Okay, fixed. All right. So when you are done, um, you can you can go to uh, go to select, select and mask. If you're using a uh, CC, if you're using a uh, CS5, CS6, uh, and CS4 and downwards, you're going to find refine edges. Is the same. 
and you can just play around with these values here and you can change it to see how it looks like if it's on uh, if it's on black background something okay so you have the math you can also check out the, the transparency here okay I think it's alright and click OK and go to the empty model layer you can easily go to edit and fill you can use the, uh, the foreground and fill it or you can just press down um, alt backspace and then always uh, press control or command D to deselect this one is done and click play and you don't need to be accurate here right, you can just brush around as you want to uh, this action will take care of the refining for you all right so let's bring it a little bit down here and increase our brush and so we want the milk to flow around this area and this one will be empty so uh, we can show that uh, kind of splatter or kind of dispersion effect so when you are done go back to the action and click play and action is going to render all the comprising elements and I'm going to get back to you guys when it's done action has now finished rendering and this is the result here and have your original photograph and you have this one here and if we we'll just open it hold down the alt key click on the arrow to collapse all the folders and then open it again and it's done and let's check it out okay you can see that and we zoom in Okay, it's looking beautiful. All right. Okay. Looking good. And uh, before everything else, I'm going to talk about the your background folder. And what we have here is uh, a texture, and they we have. Um, the colorizer of the texture and this one is for controlling the highlights and the shadows alright so you can just open that and you can play around with the values and for the color you can change it to any color that you like alright so that's what it does and you can always hide the uh, the full the textured background BG all right and we have something like this okay let's get back to to the other cool stuff here and I would like to show the chromatic effect looking beautiful and I'll just hide this one here so when you are brushing, after you finish brushing, make sure you go back to the Chrome conversion and also do the same brushing on the layer mask. And go here. And do the same. So this way we have only the head. We use only the head. And I'll just hide the... Uh, the background for a while and we have this one here and another thing you can um, check out the splash and see which one you know looks better for you or looks better for your photograph 
So I'm just going to play around and see which one is suitable for this picture here. All right, so uh, I like this number four. Let's try this one. Okay, I'll go with number four. All right, and we have it here. And you can see how beautiful the milk looks on the skin area, on this part of the of the image, and the head that has this chrome looking thing. All right, um, you can always um, play around with the sub action, so it's very, very uh, good to have the sub actions. Um, it saves a lot of time, you can just uh, click play and it changes the things for you so you don't have to manually you know hide change layers you know um, move things around so this action this sub actions here we get that done for you and what we need to check out now is the the meal drops and okay I like that um, you can hide the layer mask and and just let it to uh, to show around the uh, the canvas and you can also move it around and you can paint the way you want it to be so you can just delete that you know create a new one select a sub brush all right and you can you can paint and hide um, the area you don't like and another thing you can do here is you can go to uh, this folder here splash set click on the uh, the layer mask and you can hide any of the splash all right so you can also do that and inside the folder you find the splash one to fall like what the sub action does it just simply hides the other ones and make one um, visible and you can combine multiple of uh, those flash of those splash all right and what else do we have here we can see if we want to reveal more of the drops okay Looking, looking beautiful and um, and you can also uh, show the uh, the color filter which is what this one does here so you can change the colors or hide the colors all right and you can you can always um, hide some some uh, some folders some layers and see how it looks in your image and that's what uh, that's what these uh, sub actions will do for you all right you can just uh, check them out and also the uh, the texture um, sub actions can go from level one to f to uh, to six and you have much you have more of the uh, of this true this uh, splash at the edge and um, you can do a lot of things using this uh, sub action. So that's basically it for this. You can see it's very easy. Um, you open your photograph, you play the action, you paint on your subject area, you paint for the flow, and action will now do the rest for you. And let's look in closely. And looking beautiful. all right so uh, creating milk photography normally takes a lot of time you know and also the, and also you and also you need to have the equipment um, the light effects in your studio so uh, this action is going to uh, save you all that it's going to uh, help you to achieve that effect um, without having to uh, to spend so much and to do a lot of creative work and um, if you want to actually do this by yourself it takes a lot of time it took um, several days to get it done and in less than um, five minutes you will have 
the final result ready with this action. And please note, you can only get this result using the extended version. We normally um, release the, the premium version first and put it on Graphic River and it's kind of limited but with the extended version you can be able to achieve this effect you will have the comprehensive action that means uh, it contains everything it renders completely uh, it, uh, it is also optimized um, to work with different kind of photo photos and optimized also for, uh, for CC and some of the lower versions like this one we work with CS4, CS5 CS6 and CC all the higher versions alright it's going to work and you need to have the extended version in order to be able to achieve this effect it's very easy to get and with the extended version you are getting the latest version that means you are getting um, 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 for instance if there is a uh, if there is uh, some update by Adobe for the uh, Photoshop uh, and we are aware of it, we get to update the action for you. So when you get the extended version, you are getting the recent, the recent um, um, version. Okay, so that's what it. That's uh, that's uh, that's one of the importance of having the extended version. Another thing with the extended version, you get to have all these sub actions here. Makes it very easy. Uh, because if I have to go through all the layers, that would be a lot of work for you. Uh, for you to know what this one does and that is going to be a lot of work. So that's why I spend time um, to provide the sub actions to make it easy. What I'd have to do is just click it and it will do everything for me. Uh, it, um, so the sub action is more like an automated um, adjustment control. Okay, so to get the extended version is very easy. Uh, you first have to get the premium version from Envato from our from uh, the uh, the sell page, and and after that um, you have to. There's a link below for the extended um, user ID. That's just one time sign up. Why we just do that is you don't need to paste your email address anywhere. So the ID uh, helps us to know who is who and 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 also to send the item to the buyer immediately so that's very easy so once you uh, get the item and then um, sign sign up for the uh, extended user ID you get a unique ID that is just for you for you alone you can share that okay uh, it's for you alone so that ID is what you paste uh, you paste it on the comment section and then 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 we will now send the extended version immediately so paste it on the on the comment section is just for us to verify uh, the purchase they're there on the Envato so uh, that's the only thing you have to do and we will send you the file and if you have any question we will respond very fast and if there is an update that is needed we also respond very fast so there are lots of things uh, you will gain with this extended version that we are giving out the service uh, uh, it's not being paid for, you don't pay for it, it's free of charge. Um, the, the, the license you get with the premium version and Envato the covers for the extended version. Okay, so that's what uh, it is about. And thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. This is your boy, Mr. Charles Brown. I don't usually make vocal tutorials, but this one I needed to because this action has like lots of layers, lots of folders, lots of filters, a lot of things, a lot of work went into it. So uh, uh, it, will, it, will, it will be nice for me to make the vocal tutorial. That's why I did it today. And I hope you actually enjoyed it. And go out, get this item, save some time, save a lot of money, and achieve milk photography for your models, um, for other kinds of objects as well. Okay, and remember we recommend using high quality photos. Um, this one, we achieved it. Um, the size is um, 3,500. And this one here, the original size is 5,000 plus. Okay, so um, make sure you're using good quality photos. Make sure it's well lighted. If it's not, uh, you, can, you can always go back to the beginning of this tutorial so you can see how I lighted up 
um, the environment of the uh, of the object so you can see how I did it okay um, once again thank you for watching this tutorial I hope you learned a lot I hope um, you find this item very useful for your project okay you take care